Now special fried now? catfish. I'll give you this much. Bets are closed. Let's begin. Morning, partner. Hey, wake up. How do you do, sir? Okay, boy. That's my boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's you. Come here, please. You can see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. What the hell kind of trouble you get into this time? Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. You helped me before. It just cost you one round. All right. God, Second time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. So, where are you gonna hide? Or will you just head straight back to prison on your own? <laughs> yeah, I guess I deserve that one. Yep. Come on, follow me. Ah, I'm sorry, boy. <laughs> Who's that? So up now. Welcome back. Any problems you shout out, Lenny? Okay, there. Catch your breath, boy. Okay. Good morning, Arthur. What you up to? Nothing much. Well, there's plenty of work to do around here. All right, Morgan. Hey. Right. Keep my eye out for some good material. Good morning.
Good morning. Morning. Come on. You okay, boy? Stinks a coward right around here. You got such a chip on your shoulder, don't you? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're <laughs> going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison. Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. You ain't mentioned the Blackwater money for five minutes. This is a new record. You're one to talk. Only reason you're still here. I know that. What's wrong with you? I'd pay all my share just to get rid of you. Think you're such a big man.
Well, come, boy. Let's get here. Wait. Stay here, boy. Easy. <laughs> Just hold on there, boy. Take more than that, boy. to our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. 
You gotta do something. All right, where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay, go on, see if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh, uh, I go about finding more help. in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. Follow me, boy. Hold here, boy. Hope you've been good out there.
Mr. Matthews. Reverend! Howdy! I made rather a fool of myself Arthur. again. Hey, Bill. Me too. Me too. It's just... It's so embarrassing. It happens. After Bessie passed away, I was drunk for a year. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You know something? I was married once. You were? Yeah. Only it turns out that she was already married. So I was party to bigamy. Just another sin to add to my list. What happened? The law caught up with us in San Francisco. She jumped aboard a ship and sailed to Shanghai, I believe. I suppose I still am married in a way, but it hasn't been terribly fulfilling. No. I suppose not. There he is. Hello again, Arthur. Woo, Arthur! You gonna pass out in your own shit again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heard it all before. I'm only kidding around. Shit, <laughs> you're really getting me riled up there. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Ah. Howdy. I went to all city for her and all, while all my world traveling and roaming around. I spied a fair maiden so lovely. Gently on her I did say, she pulled up her garments, so scared it would soil. I out with old Phoenix went pouring for oil. I hadn't been boring six inches or more, still oil from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up and smiled, said bear down on your auger, for I know you struck oil. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got to fire in some ways. 